This is Dave Allen from Good and Geeky, and what we're going to do now is we're going to create an audio file that we can use for transcription in the Dragon Dictate app. I like to use the application Twisted Wave. I've got a couple of documents in there already, but let's start a new one. In fact, let's have a look at the settings first of all. So in the settings, if you're using the internal microphone, switch on Enable iOS Processing, which will switch on the gain control. If you're using the external microphone, turn that off. Let's click on done. Let's go to start a new document and we'll go for a mono document. That's all we need. And we're in there with document three. Now we can start doing our recording. I'm going to press the record button. It seems like a lot of steps there, comma, but once you've done it a couple of times, you'll see it's really easy. Full stop. The main thing will be to find the best way to get the files quickly to your Mac. Full stop. I found using AirDrop works best for me. Full stop. Sometimes it can take time for the files to synchronize if you're using the iCloud service like iCloud, comma, cap box or Dropbox, full stop. New paragraph. Sometimes you might have to wait a few minutes for the files to appear on the Mac in Finder if you're using these cloud services. I found anyway that moving files has got better with iOS 11 now that we have the iOS 11 files app, full stop. OK, so now I've stopped recording and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send the file to my Mac. Click on the share button in the top right hand corner. The file name as document 3 will do OK. We could change it from a WAV file to another lossless type of file if you want to. Apple lossless for instance. And I'm going to click on audio export. So we scroll down to where it says open in. We have to just wait for the share window to pop up and for the airdrop icon to be there available. So it says David iMac. I'm going to tap on that. It's waiting, it's sending, and it's been sent. So now I have the file available for me to use on my iMac and we can put it into drag and dictate. Let's go and have a look at that now. So here we are on the iMac and as you can see the file has come in there. It's in the uh, downloads folder. And what we want to do is we want to go to the menu there and switch to transcription. It takes a little while before it pops up in the screen there. Okay, so now we can go to put the audio file to transcribe. We can use this plus button here and find it this way and go to downloads. Let's just cancel that for a moment. Or we can do a drag and drop. So let's just take this file here, drag it and drop it in the audio file to transcribe. It validates it. And then we can get it ready for transcribing. We can choose to have rich text or Microsoft Word. I suggest using rich text is the best idea. And I'm going to send it to text edit because that's a nice simple application and I think it's the best one to use. So let's just come out of that. And the destination for the transcribed document is going to be in transcribed files. Leave that as it is so that when you finish you can just go on open transcribed files folder and get straight into your document. So all we have to do now is to click on start. It's transcribing the document. If you've got a 10 minute file, it doesn't take 10 minutes for it to be transcribed. This is only a short document, so it's not going to take too long at all. So the transcription has been completed and I've got a little notification in the top right hand corner. I can click on open on that or I can just go to the open transcribes files folder. Here we are in the transcribed files folder and document3.rtf is the one we want to have a look at. So I can just double click on that. Okay, I'll just change the size of this so we can read it a bit better. What I can do with this as well is we can compare it to the recording that we made. So let's just go to the recording, go to downloads and start playing. It seems like a lot of steps there, comma, but once you've done it a couple of times, you'll see it's really easy, full stop. The main thing will be to find the best way to get the files quickly to your Mac, full stop. I found using AirDrop works best for me, full stop. Sometimes it can take time for the files to synchronize if you're using the iCloud service like iCloud, comma, cap box or Dropbox, full stop. New paragraph. Sometimes you might have to wait a few minutes for the files to appear on the Mac in Finder if you're using these cloud services. I found anyway that moving files has got better with iOS 11 now that we have the iOS 11 files app, full stop. Okay, so you can see it worked pretty well there. There's just a couple of things that I changed just to uh, make it make more sense before I select it and copy it and put it into the writing application I'm going to be using, which in this case is going to be Ulysses. 
So there you go, that's how easy it is to do some recording on the iPhone. Get it into your iMac and transcribe it using the Dragon Dictate transcription service.